Here we do. <coughs> Let's get this one out of the way. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And welcome to what has become a bit of an impromptu pleading cherry and white. Wigger Warriors versus Wakefield. Wiki, well cats, Wiki Trinity, whatever you want to call them. Some of the people might even call them wanky wakey, but I don't know. I ain't going there. But, I mean, they are not exactly in form right now. And Warriors are coming off two absolute boss games. First, the Derby win against Saints. Absolute belting. Shame, couldn't have been in amongst like the 24,000 odd people in on that day because I didn't quite have the money, I didn't really get the chance and then away at wire being the first team for the season to pump the wire knock them off their pedestal and they got beat last the other day by Saints as well meaning that if Wigan win today we'll go joint top with wire who knows, who knows it's damp, it's wet, slippy, there's going to be hashtag greasy balls. It's going to be a little bit of a, a crazy one. I haven't looked at the team sheet, I'm doing it literally, totally impromptu. Got up this morning, looked outside and just went, Fook it, let's get a ticket, let's go. I'm in Southwick rest at Nutters. It's going to be entertaining, last time I was in South, I think we were up against Leeds. That might have been like a season, probably over a season ago now. It's been a while since I've done that. Yes, I have done a lot of football prior to that. Uh, not really going to mention anything about footy because I can't be arsed with that one right now. But um, they're not brilliant right now. They did get a win yesterday, but still not really mentioning much about it. There's no point. Uh, but, I mean, should have a decent view. It's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy. I'm hoping for a Wigan win, definitely hoping for that, hoping that maybe we can put at least, get at least five tries, and just not have any scrambles, no messing about, no kind of um, playing hot potato with it, no, no look offloads which has got us way into trouble many times before, especially when they're not exactly doing it and they're trying to be all hot shot. You don't want that, you really don't. Yeah, you're smart, play smart. But don't throw it away with three yards to go. Don't sling it into the bread basket of someone else. Don't give it to them. Get in them, get it up them. Get out, smash mouth and into the grill. But don't give it away. But what it's always like. You never know, half the time, they might just give it away because they've done it a few times before. Hoping not, but hey. So I'm going to say at least five tries. Uh, hopefully all of them get converted, but you never ski nose ski. There's no guarantee how it'll go, but hopefully. A good old five try. And gonna be a bit brave up prediction, but nil them. I highly doubt it, but nil them. Would just be nice. Just nil them. As it's damp and soggy out here, you're getting distorted. Anyways, probably see you all, see you all in chat. Number 33 is Will Dagger. Number 18, Lee Kershaw. Reese Lynn. Number 21 is Sammy Sonny Lange. Number 2, George Tapua. Number 36, Ruben Mills. Number 7 is Mason Lino. Number 19, Kevin Proctor. Number 20.
24, Harry Rose. Number 10, Jay Whitbread. Number 11, it's Matty Ashurst. Number 31, Sam Hewitt. And number 13 is Jay Pitts. On the interchange bench, four way for the number 25, Samuel Essay. Number 15, Lee Penn. Number 16 is Josh Golden. And number 17 is Reynolds Atoni. The 18th player of the Wakefield is number 8, Eddie Batty. So let's have a look at the line up there for your Wigan Warriors this afternoon. Starting off with number 2, Vivian French. Number 23, Alas Miskey. Number 3, Toby King. Mighty Max was out, they were playing a bit of job jams. Most of you Yanks will know that one, we don't. Nash in at the corner, Smith on the conversion, six up. Nine, nine minutes gone. Nice bit of play being a bit inventive. Sometimes it does get a little bit out, but you can see where they're getting the overlap sometimes. It's still being, still new things that could have been tightened up but hey what do you expect it is a banged up squad We're doing all right miski in off the right nice close play close converting I'm going to get a chance to speak, right? Almost got caught out just after we scored the first. And we've been a bit too cute and a little bit too slack on D-line. So we're just letting him in and the wakey player just came in, slid in almost, but he just came off his toes instead. Uh, some of the cute players are working, some of the cute players are. Sometimes it might just be a bit easy to stick to the basics try not to be too cute you never know but 12 up 17 to go can't complain I've had in under sticks we're now 18 up so it's three out of the five that I said two to go can we hold them and nil them up they have been a bit promised they Wicky have woke up a few times and he have been promising. But some of the cute players are working. That one was off a bit of a trick play with a bit of an interception that spilled. Not too bad, but we are trying to break the line. So we are pushing. Being careful with it. Still not getting coughed up yet though. Not coughed up in a decent one. I think uh, one of them got speared out white right on the wing just as they were about to stick a try in as well there you go so that was, that was a bit tasty 18 up at the half take that could have had another one just close to the end but didn't quite work out just held up and just short but doing all right doing all right keeping working to nil 
whether that'll last, I don't know. At least it's second half they're playing towards us. So at least we'll get a little bit more. And being in the south, it's a bit noisier south stand than it is in Tuttles. But it's not too bad. It is getting a bit cowed out though. It is getting a little bit wet. But hey, it's all fun. It's all part of it. I'm not sure how many more of these is actually going to be. Because it is getting a little bit, um, a little bit squeezy. But we're doing all right for scores and everything. Hopefully we'll get it to 30 and then still nil them. So that'll give us the five that I've said. But, I mean, whether we do or not, so we'll see if we keep this dominant, dominant performance up, we'll be all right. We'll definitely be uh, joint top and we should be uh, quite well ahead in points as well. So I haven't seen what we've scored now because I can't get much in the way of signal whilst I'm around here. There's been in here, there's no signal in the background. The amount of money that we pay for some of this stuff, I think that we'd have to get public Wi Fi for us. But we don't. Some of that needs to be sorted out. But we, I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on with the scores or not each time we score, whether I carry on or whether I just do an end of game wrap up. Anyway, back to my feet. Nothing as of yet, there's a wakey player flat on his back. Looked like a decent but hard tackle. So, not sure, but there was a bit of argy bargy going on. A few bits of inventive play, nothing came of it, but it's more. Well, he's still up there, so find out what goes on, but I doubt anything's actually happened. Mm -hmm. Bowser only just come on. Smalls has been sent off. One of our lads has gone off. Is it bid? Look, look like a decent tackle. Hard but fair. But No, looks like we have a 10 minute spell and it started pissing it down. I suppose Millsy and Bilko will probably be doing the nutting over that as well. Right lads, I'll give you a shout out. Well, we ain't nearly them. One part of it gone. What happens when you're down to 12? Well, there we Oh, they're 18 6. Hmm. You know what Rath's up to sometimes. But there was a few things that weren't exactly normal. But you know what everyone says? Always blame Rath. French, maybe he's under it, in foot to him, right in corner, conversion was missed. Watching him get a ton though, didn't realise it was under that moment. Well, I mean, some trick players are going in, some, uh, some feisty tackles going in. Thought it was going to be a bit more action, but a bit quieter over this. But, under 10 to go. See you at 10. It's wet 2 to 6 win. Not the best game, not the worst game. Not the best I've seen, definitely not the worst I've seen, but not too bad. Didn't get the 5 tries out of us. But then again, stop it off though. Didn't exactly realise Frenchie was going to get his 100th. Didn't, didn't even know he was close, it took 2 at home. Well, that was not bad. Came off a bit of a cheeky chip. A little bit of inventive player. Trying something and just potted it and there you go. But sometimes you can't tell. To be honest, Wakey looked like a bit of a solid team. They were a little bit lax at the back. They had switched off a few times and we yeah, capitalised on it pretty early pretty easy after the half I think they worked out what our game plan was 
which was going to be kind of uh, try to see where you've got the overlap and then sling it in, which they easily held us off and stopped the rush, which to be honest is a good thing because that would have been an absolute bloodbath if it had been a full strength squad, but no. KPP put in quite a good shift as well. Going here, there and everywhere. There's a few mistakes creeping in. They were getting a little bit, obviously. But again, we're going to get a bit tired towards the last 10, which is where we usually cough up the ball a few too many times, but didn't really do that many times this time. No wild offloads. There was a few kind of no look passes which sometimes came off but let's just say 60% of the time they didn't uh, you know there was a few times where honestly I think the ref should have been a little bit uh, closer to seeing what was going on and actually uh, communicating with the touches because maybe they would have worked out that sometimes it wasn't actually supposed to have been a wakey ball but whatever. On and on we go. Top of the table now. Top of the table on points scored. Equal on actual overall points. With wire. But keeping the form going. Didn't nil Wakey, which, to be honest, nilling them would have put the icing on top. But whatever. A win's a win. On and on your flow. I will sign out because I'm running out of bats and running out of breath and I've got a 40 to 50 minute walk to get back home. Peace.